to summarize, I would use the words of Jeans, which says that, who said that uh, the great architect seems to be a mathematician. And for you who don't know mathematics, it's really quite difficult to get a real feeling across up to the beauty of the deepest beauty of nature. C.P. Snow talked about two cultures. I really think that those two cultures are people who do and people who do not have had this experience, people who have had and people who have not had this experience of understanding mathematics well enough to appreciate nature once. It's too bad that it has to be mathematics, and that mathematics for some people is hard. When one of the kids reputed, I don't know if it's true, that when one of the kings was trying to learn geometry from Euclid, he complained that it was difficult. And Euclid said that there's no royal road to geometry. And there's no royal road. It's not the jaw, if we cannot, as people who look at this thing as a physicist, cannot convert this thing to any other language. You have, if you want to discuss nature, to learn about nature and to appreciate nature, it's necessary to find out the language that she speaks in. She offers her information only in one form. All the intellectual arguments that you can make would not in, one, in any way or very, very little will communicate to deaf ears what music, the experience of music really is. And all the intellectual arguments in the world will not convince those of the other culture, the philosophers who try to teach you by telling you qualitatively about this thing. Me, who's trying to describe it to you, but it's not getting across because it's impossible. I'm talk we're talking to deaf ears, and it's when the, it's perhaps that the horizons are limited, which permit such people to imagine that the center of the universe of interest is man. <laughs>